Welcome to this tactical fly fisher tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a super glue splice that goes between a leader and a braided core fly line. You can do this <clears throat> with a, more of a typical traditional fly line like this that's a five weight or you can do it with a Euro nymphing micro thin fly line like this um, but it just makes it a little bit harder to get the needle in. It is doable though. Um, as you can see though it's very strong and I can pull on this quite hard and uh, not have to worry about it. I've been using this splice, um, this specific version I've used since in high school when I read about it from Dave Whitlock, but there's other versions that I've used as well that uh, teammates have shown me, but this one works pretty well. <clears throat> so, first we're just gonna cut that off, and you wanna cut the angle of the leader at a, on a little bit of a, a bevel or a diagonal just so you have a little bit of a point to put in there. Then I've got a, a sewing needle and some hemostats here and the hemostats have serrations and that's pretty important so the sewing needle doesn't slip. And you might want a couple different sizes of sewing needles. I've got a couple here. Uh, one for a thinner um, leader and one for a thicker. You can kind of pass the thinner one first like I'm going to do right now and I'm going to heat it up just real quick to make it slide into the fly line a little bit easier. And as you do that you want to make it, you want to spin it around. Just roll that fly line and that's going to help it slide up that needle a little bit more. And once it's a quarter to a half an inch into the, the uh, line, you can prop that on its side and poke the needle through and then just use your thumbnails, if you're really careful to make sure you're not going to get jabbed, but use your thumbnails to slide that down onto the needle, just like that. Once I've got the needle poked out, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a thicker needle through just to widen that connection out a little more and make it easier to slip the leader through. So just simply do the same thing, put it through that needle and then just push it down and that's going to make it just a little bit wider and it's easier to get the leader out that way. Now you want to try and uh, pull that off with your thumbnails if you can instead of pull, uh, pull on the line. If you pull on the line, then you risk constricting that widening that you've already uh, done of the fly line and kind of negates uh, that widening you've done with the needle. So now, I've, uh, now that I've widened it out, I'm going to just take the leader and insert it up inside and poke it out that hole like that and then I will take some super glue just get a tiny little bit or uh, surround you know the, the tip it, or the leader with it you don't want to get a bunch on there it actually it's counterproductive, it won't set as quickly or as well if you get a lot. So uh, once you've got just a little bit of super glue around it, go ahead and pull that leader into the fly line until the tip is covered or just on the edge and then pinch it and roll it in your fingers and there you have it a nice smooth connection if you have a little bit of leader that's sticking out the side uh, if you weren't able to get all of it in then you can just take some clippers and trim it flush um, I've got to let this set for a little bit before I pull on it or else it's gonna pull out so I won't test it right now but you saw at the beginning of the video this is a very strong connection if you do it right uh, so there you have it if you liked what you saw here Find me on Facebook at Tactical Fly Fisher. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also I'm on Instagram at Tactical Fly Fisher. F feel free to like and share. Thanks very much.